Paramount, we're the mountaintop, we're the goddamn Statue of Liberty. Ready. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! But he looks different. Did they recast him again already? So, Super, the man of fate. This logo works because the word magnetic always invokes lightning, and the word telescope invokes a wooden sign on a treehouse built by the Little Rascals. Well, I don't know about you, but I only read Superman magazines for the articles. m 4 Ron, is that the precursor to Megan? And is that the same Thomas More who wrote Last Rose of Summer? Faster than a speeding bullet. Smarter than the average bear. Come on, Cal, I'll do the locomotion. Weird they built a skyscraper in the middle of a public park, but... The Man of Steel... Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength... Not necessarily strong strength, just a level of strength that's worthy of remark. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. We ran out of narration before music, so it's all you, Timberg. Okay, you can have one more, but this is the final frontier. Starlight, star bright, let me zap you with the beam tonight. Pride Rock is in Metropolis? Oh god, it's a D.W. Griffith film shoot! Everybody run! All these people are waiting to get their virtual cues for Runaway Railway. What do you think of the professor's show now? Now that they've added his and Marianne's names to the opening credits? Oh no, it's one of the fireballs from Chip's challenge. Honestly, the damage is shockingly minimal for an actual star bouncing down the road. I am impressed with the Daily Planet photographer's ability to get a snapshot of the exact moment of contact. And I realize, gentlemen, that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Dr. Venture? Almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments. Experiments which are the culmination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. And the legends were real and they became men. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. This is just footage of the latest Tesla board meeting. prepared to stop you. And I warn you, sir, any interference may prove that... Side eye and sashay away. We're stopping you, just like we said we were prepared to do. Ah, but the scientist has outwitted them with closing up a department store technology. Now to forward this comet to ten friends for good luck. And two seconds of rest for the animators, and... Spin the observatory! So it's not so much a magnetic telescope as a telescope that comes with a magnet. They're breaking down the killer dynamo's door? But what about Glenn and Mark Bell? That might be too deep a Homestar reference even for me. Take that, metallic vampire! Listen to me, you meddling fools! And your mangy dog! Without that power, the comet is out of my control! Ah, uh, it's a real Walter oh, Peck situation up in here. Stop! Do you hear? They don't, because the generator also powered your PA system, buddy. Ah, two Christmas ornaments crashed into each other! Ah, Fantasyland doesn't let you pull the sword from the stone anymore. And Rodney realizes he's late to the Love Muffin pageant of evil. Boy, I gotta use comets for remodeling more often. The Keystone Cops versus the Keystone Comets. Well, I could safely escape, but why break old habits? Sometimes I regret having Jimmy Olsen put down. City editor. And part-time Redditor. Look, Chief, the panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. Ah, those curtains went, so now I can't. What happened? 
Well, this is a job for Superman. Or for Clark Kent to just take a leisurely Uber. Sorry, I gotta pee, so I'll run out the passenger side for some reason. Okay, now this is a job for Superman to give my driver only half a star. I know this hole anywhere. The Kool-Aid man's been here. Superman. Are you all right? Yes, for the moment. Good enough for me. You're on your own now, Lois. Well, while I'm here, I might as well look into the Nickelodeon to watch this old W.C. Field short. Batter up, up, and away! Not the only time in recent years Superman's trajectory has been completely thrown off course by The Rock. Oh god, that's obscene! It turned the car into a different drawing! No, our five dollar foot longs! No, the billion dollar limited! And isn't that the same bridge the other scientists destroyed in the first short? This is just the greatest hits of super destruction. Okay, I'm awake. Stop pelting me with rocks. No, doing the exact same thing twice didn't work. This is the best way to get a face tan. Ugh, who framed this shot? Now, how is that skylight not broken already? Well, looks like the only thing I have to do is just clean up the mess the cops made. Anyway, this seems like a perfect place for a tetherball court. Da, 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 da. Oh, the cheat's throwing a light switch, Rabe. There, that's not too deep a home star cut. This lane, the control. But I've never driven a stick shift telescope before. Boy, it's a real intense tug of war between this magnet and gravity. Philo's checking if his inner roster can withstand a sudden charge of 60,000 volts. I feel like it should be bigger news that when fully powered, this magnet is stronger than Superman. Oh, Superman, you were wonderful. <laughs> You're pretty wonderful yourself. Okay, is it creepier that it really is him or creepier that she thinks it isn't? Superman. Superman will return and maybe actually confront the scientists responsible for all this destruction. Ah, Superman, where would we be without you? Crushed by extremely tiny meteors, apparently. As always, I couldn't make this nonsense without the support of my patrons. I've got another video coming out later this month about a wild Disney television special from 1988. And you can watch that video on Patreon right now for just a $2 pledge. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't overcharge your magnetic telescopes. And until next time, this is Dave, signing off.